all have to wait for something, and it's not always easy. Telling someone to do nothing is like telling them to stand still, and that may be incredibly challenging. We're accustomed to taking initiative, getting things done, and progressing ahead. Thus, it appears as though time is frozen when we are requested to wait, and that can make people feel uneasy. However, patience is key. It's a talent that dramatically improves our quality of life once we acquire it. I tend to hurry through things if I can't learn to wait, not to mention that crucial information is lost in the haste. You run the risk of making mistakes since you don't complete some stages that are essential. Attempting to sprint before you can walk is akin to this. As you patiently await what's to come, you allow yourself ample opportunity to get ready. View your life narratively. The plot will become jumbled if you skip forward in the book without reading the preceding chapters carefully. Important lessons and messages might slip your mind. In all its knowledge, the cosmos is aware of this. If you do well, it will be happy. It is also quite good at knowing when things should be done. The universe will sometimes make you wait for something, not because it has anything bad to say, but to keep you safe from dangers you can't see coming, or from jumping into things you aren't prepared for. The key is to be truthful with yourself. Frequently, we overestimate our readiness for certain tasks. Perhaps we're not quite straight, and if we get our way too quickly, we might ruin it. We can gather ourselves and get our act together while we wait. As if by some miracle, we are being granted an opportunity to practice and get ready for the important occasions. When it seems like life isn't going at the pace we prefer, it's more crucial to have faith in this divine timing. The item we're waiting for could not be ready, not us, and that might be the reason we have to wait. Perhaps it's a career, a romantic partnership, or a chance encounter that has not yet materialized. Life is already complicated enough without adding the stress of trying to force things to happen when they shouldn't. The timing is crucial. It's as if we're all being swept along by an uncontrollable clock. When it comes to the timing of events, we tend to have our own preferences. Things happen at their own pace in life, for example, if the person you're hoping to meet isn't in the proper frame of mind to accept your presence, it's best to wait for them. When the time isn't right, trying to force things to happen frequently backfires. Think at it this way. Life is like a pre-written tale. The pages and chapters cannot be skipped or hurried through. The timing of your story's chapters will be perfect. It might not be a good idea to push things if you feel like they are moving slowly or not coming smoothly. Rather of constantly fighting against challenges, it might sometimes be more effective to concentrate on eliminating them. Imagine yourself as a tiny star kid, similar to how a youngster may not always have their own best interests in mind. We may fail to perceive the broader perspective at times. While a child's love of swimming may make them desire to go swimming at the beach in the winter, their father may warn them of the dangers of the cold water. With all due love and compassion, the father declines, not because he wants to deprive the kid of enjoyment, but because he is aware of when it is appropriate. Likewise, this is frequently how the cosmos operates. Sometimes it's just not the proper moment for what you desire, but there is a time and a season for everything. Although this may seem like a difficult lesson, it usually ends up being beneficial. The cosmos is trying to tell you to be patient until the correct time in your life, just like a parent would tell their child to wait until summer so they can go swimming at the beach. Being patient and waiting for the perfect moment isn't necessary. It's like waiting for the water to slow down or the sun to warm it. You just have to be calm and patient and believe that the time is perfect. Realizing that everything happens at the appropriate time is essential to waiting for the proper season. Patience like this goes beyond simply waiting. Being ready when the time comes is all about preparation. The correct possibilities will present themselves to you at the proper moment, just as the sun always comes out 
after a chilly spell. A strong want, like hunger, might set in while you patiently await the fulfillment of a profound need. A decision must be made at this juncture. One option is to go for a fast and easy solution, like putting the food in the microwave or ordering takeout. Although this option may satiate your hunger in the short term, it is never the answer to your long-term needs and desires, and it usually leaves you feeling empty and sometimes even guilty. Alternatively, you could just wait. Comparable like entering a restaurant, taking a seat, and waiting for the chief to make your dinner. It may take more time, but the end product is generally worth it. This option is for being patient and trusting that whatever the universe has in store for you will be nice and nutritious. Waiting is an integral aspect of several processes. The chef at the restaurant is meticulously making your food. It's being meticulously prepared, seasoned and presented, so it's not ready just yet. Your meal's quality can take a hit if you rush the waiter, who in turn rushes the cook. Similarly, you might not get your greatest results if you attempt to hurry the cosmos or the natural processes of existence. Perhaps what you desire isn't the greatest option for you, and that's why you're being made to wait. Perhaps something even better, something that aligns with your genuine wants and needs is being prepared by the universe. Staying loyal to yourself is more vital than settling for something mediocre or easily accessible. Being patient is not jumping to conclusions, but rather waiting for the greatest possible outcome. Keep an eye on the world around you. Keep in mind that nothing lasts forever, that the seasons vary, and that time flows at a steady pace. The things you've been hoping for will eventually come to pass, just like the sun rises every morning. Have faith in this fateful moment. Pay attention to your intuition, the still little voice within you that tells you to relax and trust the journey. Doing so will lead you to your destination with all the necessary items regardless of how long it takes compared to your initial expectations. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the very end. I wish you the best and hope you've learned something useful today while you have faith in the time that is determined by the Almighty. We greatly appreciate your feedback and ideas. Not only would I devour them all, but I implore you to tell your loved ones about this as well. I pray that divine love is constantly at your side. I hope this video enriches your life. Please subscribe and like this video if you found it useful. Thanks for watching to the end. Until next time, be happy.